Welcome back. In part two of this video series, I'm going to teach you how to mask your domain to a subdomain. Now, in the last video, I showed you how to mask it to the root, which was monthlymembershipincome.com. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to mask it to a different domain, which is going to be members.monthlymembershipincome.com. Now, the reason you would do that is maybe you, you already have an existing site um, at that root domain, maybe there's a WordPress site that you've already set up. Maybe you've had a site that's been there for years and you don't want to overwrite that. You don't want to change it. But instead, you want to mask your domain to a subdomain, okay, so it doesn't interfere with your current site. So to do that, I'm logged into GoDaddy. I need to find my DNS zone file editor. Here it is. And in this video, instead of editing the uh, current A host record that we have, which is for the root domain, which is monthlymembershipincome.com, we're going to mask it to a subdomain. So to do that, we are going to need to add a record. So I'm going to click Add Record, and I'm going to choose a host. It must be an a host record. And the host, this time, is actually going to be members. And we're going to need to paste in that IP address, and we're going to hit Finish. And we need to press Save. Okay, so in this video, we have not touched the current a host record that was there. Since we didn't touch that, whatever site that you had there is still going to be there. We haven't affected that domain at all. But what we did is we added a new domain, which is members.monthlymembershipincome.com, and we've masked that. Now the next step is to mask our mobile theme. So to do that, we'll need to add a record. And this time, we're going to choose a host again, but we're going to put m.members paste in that IP address once again and hit finish and make sure we press save okay so now you can see we have two uh, brand new a host records members dot monthly membership income and m dot members dot monthly membership income so now that we've completed that step the last step to finish this process off is go back to your site owner control panel and put in that custom domain now you only need to put in one domain here you do not need to put in your mobile URL so the URL that we need to put here is members.monthlymembershipincome.com and press save. Okay, once again, to test this out, go ahead and copy this URL, put it in your address bar, and go to that site and make sure it works. If it does work, then you're set and you're good to go. and You did it properly. If it redirects to valueaddon.com, then either the... Uh, a host records haven't propagated yet. They may take a few hours or you misconfigured something. So go back through the steps, double check everything. But that's it. That is how you mask a, a custom subdomain to your membership site.